Hello everyone. Today we have with us Bala Murugan. He is a BS degree student currently working in Stratlytics Consultancy and he is currently at the degree level of IIT MBS. So today we'll have a conversation with him and get to know his journey of you know getting uh, more than 1.5 year experience even before completing his degree level of IIT MBS. Hello Bala, can you give a brief introduction about yourself? Uh myself Bala Murugan. and i'm kara i'm from tanjavur tamil nadu and uh, in this bs degree program i'm currently in degree level bs level along with this bs uh, bs degree program uh, i'm working as a trainee data analytics for the past one and a half years uh, with this uh, statistics and uh, prior to this i get an opportunity to work with statistics for uh, in, in the internship period of one year and uh, prior to all of this i had a work experience of in mechanical engineering and i have completed a, a diploma in mechanical engineering then later i plan to switch my career into it uh, it field then i come across this program and get to know about this program more detail and join this and when i was in the diploma level i got a chance to meet with uh, professor sudarshan sir and there was a, a community called coder sai and from that yes. community i got to know about uh, mr uh, devas smith who is the founder and ceo of uh, statistics we got a, a very brief discussion and uh, about the studies and everything from there uh, i got a opportunity to uh, work with statistics as a intern i got a internship how did you come to know about the program by my uh, colleagues and uh, friends i got to know about this program and since it's a uh, newly introduced in the market so i was a little bit scared but uh, by going through the curriculum and everything i got a little bit confident about uh, all these things so that's how i ended up in this bs degree how did iit and bs degree help you in reaching where you are right now before joining this uh, course i had a very tough uh, time to speak even with the, some uh, some new people or something so because only uh, i'm i'm very uh, lack with the communication and bef- before joining this program i mean i couldn't even talk for one minute or even 30 second uh, by going through the foundation courses uh, very carefully because i know what uh, what is my weakness so by taking those all these things uh, in consideration i go through this uh, curriculum very carefully so that's helped me a lot in terms of communication on the other hand before joining this course i i don't have any exposures to uh, programming la- uh, language i know what are the what is those things but how to approach and uh, what are the basic all those things i uh, le- completely learned in uh, learned in from this course itself on how was the overall experience overall course feedback for you like foundational level diploma level and the degree levels um uh, maybe the feedback will be something will different from uh, differ from others because there is a gap uh, Uh, steady gap that i had more than 6 uh, 7 years so when i was initially joined the foundation level i struggled a lot i mean in fact uh, that's the period a uh, uh, little bit challenge for me later i i got to uh, i get into the phase of uh, studying and everything and during the diploma level it was a bit challenging because uh, uh, doing the internship along with this course and uh, it was a bit challenge for me but uh, i didn't give up i mean now uh, I don't want to give up because I know because of this course only I got this internship maybe a uh, successful completion of this program will be also give much more uh, confident with me and uh, in terms of the entire journey uh, I mean to be honest uh, uh, it was a bit challenging because the time management and this thing is the one of the crucial point but uh, overall the uh, uh, knowledge and this thing is uh, everything is perfect I mean in fact I cannot compare with any other existing uh, currently existing program in the market actually. So how was the experience of managing uh, your internship along with you know uh, the studies of IIT and BS? Do you have any tips for students? Uh, maybe the discipline a uh, discipline uh, in the sense with ourselves so if, if you have fixed your uh, fixed time for study and uh, work then without deviating that uh, discipline would help a lot because when i was initially joined the internship i was little curious to work more than uh, study because it was uh, giving much more uh, 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 
joy and uh, yeah so i was a little bit deviated that but uh, right immediately in the upcoming quizzes i got to know okay uh, i got deviated or much so i need to balance this uh, time management basically between work and so i i uh, prepared a schedule uh, maybe a uh, uh, every day morning 6 to 10 for study then 4 hours to 5 hours for the work and then uh, this is how i actually managed but uh, I didn't immediately joined the uh, joined as a full uh, full time employee before that I had a one years experience in the internship so during this period I got to know how 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 better I can manage the time when I was going through uh, going to full time employee so based on this all the feedback that I had with me so I actually managed to work for even uh, last one and a half years even though I was working as a full time I can uh, able to a spare time for job and study at the uh, stratalytics you must have uh, gone through the selection process what knowledge from the iit and bs degree actually helped you to crack that internship oh, i don't have any prior experience in totally in the domain of data science i everything that i uh, answer during my interview or any sort of uh, uh, discussion is completely purely uh, from this uh, bs degree program itself only and uh, it was uh, since the mr devas netha the founder and ceo is uh, having 20 years experience in sta- statistics and uh, this thing there was lot of question related to statistics so uh, i would uh, strongly encourage all the students to uh, focus stats one stats two where most of our uh, data science analysis or any sort of data science work will rely on these two subject only so right so these two subject are uh, help me a lot but uh, there are points where i couldn't answer maybe um, uh, maybe because of my lack of uh, focus on the stats and stats too uh, but uh, i i can able to uh, answer all the uh, most of the question that was asked from the basic question like uh, start from a way i mean a variation and a standard deviation then slowly it was uh, gone into deeper level like uh, continuous variable and all this thing so it was a nice experience i mean it was a very long back i couldn't recollect all the question but yeah but it most uh, mostly from uh, stats on that is great to hear uh, uh, bala i'm sure this will be helpful for the students so uh, since uh, you are iit mbs student so were you a part of any like house activity society club or maybe did you attend any paradox event or meet up or something uh, due to the time management uh, as i mentioned i couldn't uh, actively participate all these things but uh, for the paradox i start from the very first paradox 2022 uh, paradox i continuously attending all the paradox and there are a couple of activities that i have uh, attend i mean the workshops and the events that uh, like campus run uh, for a student who is currently in the bs degree uh if you can uh, guide students on how to go about in the course what should their approach be uh, which uh, aspects to focus more which are important uh, you know subjects and all so if you can uh, guide students a bit on that Ra- uh, i would i i would like to answer this question in simple manner so rather than uh, trying to solve the question if we can i mean in term uh, whether it is quiz or uh, data assignment if you can understand uh, reason behind the question maybe uh, why we have this question in place right uh, first place so if you can get that idea behind it will help us uh, in real world i mean uh, in terms of nobody going to ask similar question in the industry everything we have to uh, built it from our uh, ourselves because uh, Uh, we have a bunch of data and we have to answer few things from the data but nobody going to answer any sort of this question so whenever we come across any sort of question and in, in fact uh, from any courses we should understand the reasons uh, behind that question why we have this question and uh, then uh, graded assignment and uh, pieces are i mean more or like uh, i would say uh, similar and uh, i mean those those things i mean apart from the uh, recorded lectures and everything this graded assignments and uh, this has helped me a lot to understand and uh, draw some concepts from the uh, entire program actually i mean in fact if i wanted to say um, 
this graded assignment is actually helped me to shape my knowledge and everything by uh, just watching the lecture i didn't get much but when i go go, go through the uh, questions and all it's it gives me another uh, dimension uh, in the entire uh, domain actually so i would strongly recommend uh, students to solve the question for uh, with themselves and uh, uh, even if it is take time consuming uh, please solve it with yourself don't uh, don't try to uh, uh, use any 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 sort of uh, um out copying copy yeah i don't want to mention that directly but yeah students will, uh get it correctly uh, why the students uh, should look forward to you know getting hands on experience and how how actually has your internship benefited you because at the same time you were learning from the bs degree and you were applying it in your internship so how was that for you and what would you recommend to the students so when i was learning this com- concept theoretically along with that there are couple of uh, a few uh, graded assignments i mean uh, with regarding the coding and all but those part is like giving us idea like uh, how things can be solved but in when i was getting to internship it was totally different uh, when we were solving a particular uh, programming assignment the problem statement is very straight forward and uh, all the things that required will be readily available for us but when we move on to real world solving the real world problem we need to uh, combine multiple things one can be from mlp that we uh, that we learned and one uh, one can be come from ba or business analytics course so these kind of things once we start to uh, see in real world problem and uh, things are not straight forward then uh, applying the multiple things that we have learned and uh, these things these things help me a lot so that's why i actually mentioned when i was uh, started my internship i was little uh, excited uh, about the work because i yeah. started to see a lot of uh, similarities between the one that i learned and i'm i uh, am working with basically so for a student who is looking forward to maybe internship or job opportunities in the field of data science what tips or suggestions do you have i will start with programming programming is much more uh, uh, required even if you are good with all the all sort of theory everything uh, goes under the programming i mean in fact the python most probably uh, having a good uh, good practice with uh, python even though we have a course on python in foundation level after that uh, we don't have any uh, any continuity on that i mean uh, during the diploma we have some courses having python hands on experience but uh, so i would strongly recommend students to get practice at least uh, once a week or uh, uh, two days or three days just open your id and practice few things in the python node uh, id basically then the uh, concept that you have learned uh, in each course try to relate uh, one thing with other uh, maybe uh, the concept that we have learned from uh, modern application development you can use it in uh, machine learning also like uh, building a, a web application on top of machine learning model so those sort of uh, uh, broad thinking we should have when we were uh, moving from uh, studying to a uh, workplace or industry basically so we need to see the things uh, in different uh, than what we have studied so that's what i was trying to any message that you would like to give to the people or the students watching this video try to uh, uh, work around with ppt even though if you are a good analytics and you having a better skill in programming and you got the desired output uh, for the given pro, uh, given problem statement you are going to present it to a, a, a person who don't have any exposure about i mean any uh, any sort of uh, knowledge about data science so the storytelling that's the part i'm uh, i wanted to cover here so whenever we uh, we solve a particular problem maybe trying to put those things in a ppt and see how we are pre- how our presentation skills maybe with ourselves or our uh, friends we can present it to them so that it will give us a uh, much more confident and the analysis that we have performed is how much uh, uh, adding value to the business all those things we need to talk about 
maybe that that soft skill is something we are uh, we don't have any currently we don't have any much more uh, hands on experience that's the part i i actually struggle so maybe uh, any students watching this lecture if you are yeah. if you are, that that part we need to uh, focus on and then uh, so since uh, and the another uh, struggle and uh, things that i wanted to emphasize to the students is we since we have learned so many things we try to apply all these things at the uh, one uh, at the same time that is also uh, not correct so we will start from the very uh, simple solution then we can go for uh, any sort of complex solution so whenever there is a problem statement i used to apply all the concepts that i have learned but ended up having nothing as a result so then we i start start from uh, scratch and slowly add uh, slowly uh, try to approach the problem so this kind of uh, basic things uh, that we wanted to have in my our mind when we move on to, uh, uh, from this ps program to industry basically. thank you so much for taking out your time and sharing your valuable insights and uh, we really hope that you will have a great time ahead and we wish you a lot more success in the future thank you so much